local applications team. Today I'm going to walk you through how to swap out your feed roller on your Melka machine. Shouldn't take too long. I thought this would be a good follow up to last week's video of doing the pinch rollers. So we'll only need a couple things to do this. First things first, you guys should have all received a operator's kit when you got your EMT16X. So we'll open up that ops kit. You can see we got all of our goodies. And in here, we're going to have the little feed roller puller. Feed roller puller. Say that eight times fast. So inside, you got this little O ring feed roller puller. So you also have a spare feed roller in your ops kit. It comes with one uh, feed roller. You got another pinch roller in there. You got another bobbin case, and you got your finger retainer gap, which we walked over, uh, walked through how to use in another video. So these two things. The last thing that we need is our polymer grease, also found inside this wonderful ops kit. So I'm going to swap the cameras. We're going to go over to my machine, and I will show you how to take this off, what we're looking for, um, and how to swap it. So let me switch cameras here real quick. All right, so we're swapped over to the machine. As you can see, we're looking at our feed rollers up here. Here's our pinch roller that we swapped out the other day. So first steps first. Um, when you're doing this, I would do these all at the same time. Um, let's just say we're checking one right now is how I'm going to show you. Um, when I'm doing these, I usually will start in the middle and pull off all my cases that way. And then when I put them on, I usually start over on the right hand side here and I work my way that route. Um, you can do it however you please. So we're going to pull off. I'm just going to get my thread out of the way here. And I like to get my pinch roller out of the way just like we did the other week. And I'm going to pop up this cover here. Lifting these sometimes helps you get a little bit more room. And what we're going to do here, you guys can see, here's my feed roller. Um, you can see the red mark down on there. That's no big deal. I'm running red thread on that one primarily. So you will see some dye on that roller. So next up, we're going to take our feed roller puller. And we're going to bring it in straight this route. So our hook is down. I'm going to bring it over here on the right hand side and you can either use your flathead screwdriver that came in your kit or you can just use your fingers. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of pull this up and out. So when I'm pulling this feed roller here, I'm just going to go up with it and out. If you're using a screwdriver or something, be really careful that you don't just ram it into um, all your gears here so up and out it's really that simple um, this is a good time to check down and make sure you don't have any threads or anything stuck down in there and what we're going to do is we're going to look at our feed roller now so what we're looking for on here so this is what's feeding our thread through right so this is spinning this gear spins it feeds our thread through so what we're looking for is any imperfections on our feed roller here. So if we have a chip or we have a giant groove in there or, you know, just anything's wrong with it, what that's going to what's going to happen there is the same thing with the pinch roller. If this is feeding and that thread in that spot hits that nick and say it moves it off to the side or something like that, it's going to affect your sew quality. So we always want to make sure that we have these properly greased and that they are not damaged. So Kind of looking this one over, like I said, there's a little bit of dye migration on the roller from my red thread that I run always on needle number nine. I don't see anything wrong here. So I'm going to go grab my trusty shop towel and I'm just going to clean out any excess grease that I have sitting in there. Just get it nice and clean. You can see it was a little bit dirty. I'm just going to clean off the sides of my pinch rollers. I'm trying not to get any grease or any fuzz or anything on my feed roller itself. And then we will grab our polymer grease 
and I add just a little bit on this side of the roller add a little bit on this side of the roller now as you guys can see we have our feed gear there on the left hand side and if we look at our roller we also have the gear on the left hand side so when we put this back in we need to make sure that we have both of these feed gears connecting to each other so we're just going to pop this back in got it back in get some of the excess grease off of there like I said I'm trying to keep my roller itself pretty clean that's back in we're going to take our cover if you look on this cover here you can see this little lip now that lip needs to come down in the back so it just kind of feeds down and it clicks right in um, we'll click this back down make sure all of our threads are lined up which you can see here I actually got one of my threads stuck down in my cover there so always double check everything around make sure your threads are where they should be we'll get this side down lined up in our thread path I'm going to grab my pinch roller that we greased up last week and I'm going to get that back in and we're going to bring that down thread path is clear everything is back where it should be so I'm going to switch back to my other camera real quick so swapping out your feed rollers not too hard to do right I mean that took us a whopping I don't know two minutes to do that um, like I said, usually when I do that is, you know, around that quarterly maintenance period. Um, your machine should let you know when you need to do that. Um, but when I do it, you can do one individual. Say you're having issues on that one. You know, you pull it, you clean it. All right, cool. You can go in and you can reset the timer. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. Actually, I will not show you guys how to do that real quick. I cannot share my screen on this camera. Um, but it's right there in your maintenance. You can go in there and you can reset your... Um, your feed roller timers and all that good stuff for your maintenance. But um, just keep up on this. Uh, greasing this is pretty crucial. I mean, you want to keep make sure that your thread is feeding properly and it's nice and greased up. Um, so just make sure no nicks, no damages, you know, no thread pass. Say you've been running that one for two years straight on nothing but metallic thread, right? That metallic is like tinsel running through your machine. You know, that's one that I would definitely check out and make sure that I don't have a groove sitting down the center of it. But um, if you guys have any questions, you know, comment down below. Um, you can always shoot us an email at applications at malco.com, and we are more than happy to answer any questions. So hopefully this was helpful, and until next week, you guys, have a... Uh